You know, there's a beautiful symmetry between blockchain and, and cameras. And I, when I tell people that I come from the camera side into blockchain, they're like, well, what's the relationship, right? Or what's the commonality? And, and the, the reality is um, they're both, you know, uh, record keepers of truth. Both cameras and blockchain, they record things. Uh, and, the, and the, you know, the thing that was very apparent to me was that uh, with the prevalence of AI, with the prevalence of like being able to uh, create these very realistic filters. Uh, and I remember having regular discussions with engineers about how this was going to disrupt the core inherent value of a camera because a camera, it its core value is that it can capture truth. And if it can't do that, then it's, you know, it really doesn't deliver much value to society. And that was under threat because of AI, et cetera. Well, this was 2021. And what I saw in blockchain and NFTs was a potential solve for that, where you have this beautiful, you know, ability to record truth on the blockchain, and it's immutable, and it's it's wonderful because of that. And and I remember having a lot of discussions about, well, listen, you know, you can take a photo and you can mint it as an NFT. You can you can do that. You can see, you know, when it was created. And there's obviously hurdles to, you know, to overcome. But to me, it seemed like such a beautiful like combination of tech and art that, and also seemed essential uh, to preserve the uh, the value of of a whole industry. And it's actually one of the reasons, or probably the biggest reason, why I decided to to shift over to blockchain uh, was because I, I saw that that potential. And that's when NFTs just took off. Like March twenty twenty one, April, they just went crazy. Yeah, this is no. you know yeah. complete euphoria. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. So, uh, you know, I, I, I wonder, you know, one of the, one of the different artistic spaces that has, I guess, been slower for adoption in the NFT space has been photography. Um, I know that you have a, a long history with cameras and probably understand the mind of a photographer very well. What, what is it that has led to that friction? And then what is kind of the breakthrough? What are the trends that you see coming from the photography space? Yeah, actually, um, I've I've often discussed this uh, internally, um, and I do have I have tons of photographer friends, and a lot of I know a lot of the uh, like globally recognized photographers, um, and there's a, a really good reason why they haven't adopted NFTs. Uh, the main reason is that because photographers are very good at selling their work digitally. When you talk to a photographer about selling a, a work, they already understand it as I'm selling a license. For my digital photo that's you know almost entirely their business model but with nfts what we as a category did wrong is we didn't really make it clear that we were we made it clear that we were selling the actual objects but we didn't make it clear enough to photographers that we were selling license terms and what those were and photographers if you don't clarify that they assume that they're giving their rights to the full image and so they refuse to, to do that because you know they, they need, they have been accustomed to commercializing their own work and monetizing it. That's how they make a living. And so to them, um, selling an NFT was akin to selling the, the actual, what's called the raw file or the negative. Mm -hmm. uh, and they couldn't do that because then how could they possibly monetize it? The big difference here in the qualifier was that with an NFT, you're not selling the negative. Mm -hmm. You're selling the, the painting. Right, so it's like Picasso painted this piece. You're selling the work. You can exhibit it at home, right? That's mm -hmm. that's your right because you own the piece, or you can open a gallery and exhibit it there. But you certainly cannot make a T-shirt or a coffee mug and put the picture there. Mm -hmm. You don't have the commercial rights for the image. So I know it sounds like a, a a nuance, but really, had the platforms, the main platforms, defined that photography would have flooded in. They would have flooded in. Um, and, you know, there's over a billion photos captured per day. You know, there's a huge market potential. And I think all it requires is very clear license terms. And then they'll all flood in because uh, certainly the current platforms that exist don't really cater to the to the artists. Um, they, they get very, very little compensation for their work. So 